hello guys today I'm gonna show you how to make or calculate a transformer and its winding so it's my first video and if I make some mistakes then you should forgive me <coughs> so let's start it um, here I have a transformer moving it's very small you know but um, for example you can take this and we have to first calculate its area but remember we should take it or take the unit in meter so if um, it's about 1.5 centimeter so first take it 1.5 centimeter after that we will convert it into meter then it's about 2.5 centimeter okay um, there is a law of turns per volt for a transformer and the law is uh, let's write here turns per volt equal to 1 by 4.4 4 into F into BM into core area remember the core area should be taken into meter square remember it's meter square we are taking centimeter so we should convert this into meter and now the f the f is frequency suppose if you locally supplies you with 50 hertz or some country supplies with 60 hertz so it's up to you how um, how much you want to take so i am taking 50 hertz with the frequency f then the bm it's magnetic flux so it's about 1 to 1.2 and you can take uh, I am taking 1.2 Weber per meter square so 1.2 approximately then the core area let's take it uh, first 1.5 it, it should be convert into meter so 1.5 1.5 divided by 100 equal to equal to 0 0.015 meter okay it's centimeter and here it's meter then the other side is 2.5 centimeter let's uh, 2.5 divided by 100 is equal to 2.5 divided by 100 it's 0 0.025 meter and <coughs> so the total core area equal to 0 0.015 into 0 0.025 so we got 0 0.025 into 0 0.015 is equal to 3.75 into 10 to the power minus 4 approximately the core area is this type kind of something so uh, let's take the value here 1 by 4.4 or it's double 4 sorry into the frequency here is 50 I'm taking into magnetic flux 1.2 into core area here 3.75 into 10 to the power minus 4 let's calculate so guys um, I've, I've given inputs in my calculator and 1 by 4.4 into 15 to 1.2 into 
uh, into core area then it's approximately 10.0100 blah 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 something so it turns per volt it means that uh, for one volt we have to turn about 10 turns to this bobin for one volt okay Three. so guys we have got our turns per volt 10 point approximately 10 we are taking 10 okay 10 turns so guys we have got our uh, transformers turns per volt so approximately we have to turn 10 turns for 1 volt then uh, now we gonna calculate the primary winding let's start primary winding calculation okay as uh, suppose uh, our country supplies us with 230 volt so our primary volt is 230 volts then um, so vp equal to 230 volt and transfer volt equal to 10 turns so primary turns should be 230 into 10 okay turns so it's about 2300 2, 2, turns for primary winding okay and if my uh, and and supposing that uh, my transformer is about 50 watt so um, uh, if our primary volt is here 230 volt and VA equal to 50 watt and volt equal to 230 so if we calculate the ampere of primary winding it will be VA divided by V equal to A so A or amp equal to 50 divided by 230 so let's calculate 50 divided by 230 equal to 0 0.217 amp so the transformer will take 0 0.217 amps from primary side yeah. so let's turn over this page um, let the transformer we are designing is 90% uh, uh, efficient because in this world nothing is 100% efficient so uh, if it's 90% efficient then the primary current should be VA by <coughs> efficiency into primary volt okay yeah it's not much important but we i am showing you that you can exactly calculate the amperes of your primary side of your transformer so so um it's not much important so let's take here it's 50 divided by efficiency equal to 90 by 100 into primary volt equal to 230 let's take a bracket here it's 50 divided by um, 19 to 230 by 100 so here it's 50 divided by uh, this value is about to 207 so 50 if I calculate here 50 divided by 207 it will be 0 0.2415 amps previously we got 0 0.217 and here it's 0 0.2415 because of adding the efficiency we got the actual value of a 
transformer currents. Here is the difference between efficiency and non-efficiency. Now let's calculate the secondary side. So secondary secondary winding calculation. Okay. So as it's as usual the primary side because uh, turns per volt into uh, how much volt you want in secondary side suppose I want um, 12 volt so you have to uh, sub here Vs as secondary volt equal to transfer volt into 12 if you want much then you can increase by yourself so I'm taking 12 volt as secondary output so it's 12 equal to TPV was 10 into 12 equal to 1 2 0 turns so we have to give 120 turns for 12 volt as in this uh, mini transformer you know so here was all all of the calculations of my transformer so here was the <coughs> my calculations all of you hope you guys like my video in my next video i'll show you which gauge wire you should take for your transformer and till then stay tuned like comment share and subscribe thanks for watching